call scene. Um, a lot, a lot of these are like real time, like two people hanging out, but it could be whatever you want for real. Uh, and then, yay. Uh, and then I like to, I like to ask people like how they got into improv afterwards. So have a little, like, uh, you know, short discussion afterwards about like what, what got you into improv. And I usually don't dissect the scene or talk mm -hmm. about it. I'm not a big fan of like so when you did yeah. this any of that stuff so that's great for the newbie <laughs> <laughs> I mean it what you're gonna do somebody once a long time ago told me what you're gonna do is good enough it doesn't yeah. matter and just keep doing them and keep doing them so that's a good attitude I've I've awesome taken from this whole thing is like, ah, it's going to be fun, whatever it is. Um, pick a number between one and 62. That's a lot of numbers, Jay. Right, right. So many. 25. <laughs> All right. That's, 20, it. that's great. Let's see, two, four, six, <laughs> eight, 10. 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, four. This comes from uh, my friend, uh, Jayant. I don't know if you know Jayant or not, but uh, he's pretty oh. great. And his suggestion is beautiful things. Oh, miracles and blessings. <laughs> Thanks, Jayant, beautiful things. Thank you. I love our relationship. I mean, how great is this? How lucky are we? We're so lucky. It's the most magical thing ever. I mean, every day I wake up, I turn and I, I think to myself, I'm so lucky. Scott, like I do the same thing. It's like I'm living in a fairy tale. Right, and I feel bad. Like I don't want to tell anybody because I'm afraid that they that I'm going to be seen as arrogant. And then I'm like, screw it, I'm gonna tell you anyway. So I tell people all the time how lucky I am to be with you. I know, I keep losing friends. Oh, I don't even care because I have you. Do you mean it? Like, don't say it because you think I, I want you to say it. You gotta say it because you mean it. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. It's me and you against the world. Yes, I feel the exact same way us literally everyone else yeah i'm not kidding if if anybody comes at you they come at me that word word yeah like they come at us at the same time yeah yeah it's like i mean i don't even want to compare it to anything i was gonna say it's like batman and robin but it's so not even close to that i'm only saying batman and robin because it's a pairs exactly it's it just like it's just like Scott and Tina. I mean, like, it's just like us. That's it. There's no, oh, there's no comparison. Exactly. We're the thing. Yes. Incomparable. Oh man. Like I, I just think we don't need anything else. Hey, you know what? You're right. I know. I always am. No, I, I, I'm, you are a hundred percent. I'm You're not board, kidding? No, I'm going to board up the door. Exactly. Board it up. Yes. We don't need anybody else. Yeah. Oh, you missed this. Yeah. Okay, good. This one? Good. <laughs> yeah, you did. It's fine. You got it. Are you, I mean, I don't want anybody to come in here. Nobody should get in. No one at all. This is, this makes me feel so much closer to you. Can, can I ask you something? Mm -hmm. And I mean it. And I want you to just, just the truth. Okay. Okay. Can I, I mean, I just want you to say the truth. The first thing that comes to your to your mind when I ask this, like, don't censor, just say the first thing, Tina, okay? Okay, I'll, I'll do it. Okay, Clo close your eyes. Okay. 
Close your hold on. Close your eyes. I'm I'll be right back. Close. You know how I am with surprises. I know. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. Uh, hold on. Keep your eyes. Don't peek. Don't you peek. So romantic. Are you peeking? No, I'm not. Okay. Oh my gosh. I just don't even know I'm gonna contain myself. Oh, don't peek. Like the first thing. Okay. Okay. Open your eyes. Tina Marie uh -huh. X-Ling. Yeah. Will, will you marry me? Yes. Yes. Here. I will marry. Are you a prince? What? Are you a prince? I, I hope I'm your prince. You are my prince. Yes, I'll marry you. Are you I'll marry you. Are you serious? Yes, I will marry you. Here, put it on. Thank you. Oh. Show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. <gasps> it fits, it fits. I didn't even know if it would fit or not. Oh my gosh, bling, bling. <laughs> bling, 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 right? It looks, you. it looks beautiful. You're more beautiful than the ring. I'll be honest. The ring is beautiful, but you're more beautiful. You're so romantic. This is amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna board up the back door. I'm gonna board up the yeah, back. Board that shit up. Don't. I don't want anybody. I don't. No want one can interfere. Exactly. Nobody. Just you and me. We don't need anything. Okay, did I did I get it? Did I miss anything? You got it. I I want to spend the rest of my life with you oh, really? in here in the cabin. I don't want to go anywhere. I want to spend it in the cabin. I I've been at peace for the past four days we've been here, and it's exactly. hard to find peace. Exactly. I am your peace and you are my peace. This, this is, my mother was so wrong. Wow. She hates me. <laughs> yeah, she does. I don't blame her. <laughs> well, I mean, there was that one thing, but you know, you really have to overlook small things. Well, I mean, I, my first, I consider it a starter marriage, the first marriage. This is like, this, this is the is, real deal. This is the real deal. And the other one, it's like, I was young. I was 25. That's, you don't know what you're doing at 25. I know what I'm doing now. Right. It was like, exactly. Like you learn to ride a bike, right? You have training right. wheels. The training wheels are off. That's how I feel about you. Exactly. Exactly. You're like, you're like a bike without training wheels. Exactly. I can just, it's easy to be with. You speak my language oh, I, I i wrote you a poem do i have Can to close I, my eyes yeah okay you gotta close your eyes hold on you gotta close your eyes okay don't okay. don't peek i i won't this is so tough don't peek don't peek, <laughs> don't peek. <laughs> Are you peeking? No. Maybe a little. No, no, I'm not peeking. Well, a little bit's okay. Okay, great. If I did. You ready? You can open your eyes, or you could close your eyes. I could read. I could read it to you, closed or open eyes. It's up to you. I'm gonna open. Okay. I feel like I can finally take a deep breath, relax, because I'm with someone who makes me feel that I'm the best version of myself. I feel that I've met someone who is beautiful that makes me even more beautiful. I want to spend the rest of my life with you and I hope I get the courage to ask you. That is amazing. Right. Close your eyes. Okay, okay. Close your eyes. Okay. Right. Okay. I'm not peeking. Don't don't peek at all. Don't peeking. do it. Okay. okay. Um, I also open your eyes. I also wrote you a poem. Nobody's 
Nobody's ever written me a poem. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. No, it's, it's, I, I can't wait to hear yours. Yes. Okay. Okay. Get in the mood. All right. My dearest Scott, you take my breath away. You are the greatest man I ever met. And I want to spend the rest of my life with only you. Your love, Tina. I'm going to board up the window. Thank you. I was hoping you would say that. I think you're going to need some extra nails. Yeah. <laughs> Did I get it? He did. You, you're getting better at that. Well, I got nothing but time. Exactly. Me and you. I mean, who knew the way to positive relationships was just to focus on each other only? I didn't. Not until I met you. I didn't either. <laughs> Scene! <laughs> <laughs> that was so sweet oh and so much fun and we talked earlier today about making quicker choices right where it's like how do you do now I felt like that was a scene that the choices were very quick even though it wasn't like a rapid fire thing right yeah yeah that was so natural yeah oh good I feel like in scenes like that, those are scenes that could go for a long time. And to me, like that's the best way to improvise is like, they can go on for a very long time. It's not a very short and then you're done. I like those right. things. Yes, that was a miracle and a blessing. Oh, what, <laughs> what got you, Candy? What got you into improv? How did you start? Because are, are you also a, like a, a licensed therapist? I am. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. Okay. So what got you into improv? So I was on TikTok during my downtime in the pandemic and Better With Improv had a free class. And so I was like, I let me try that. And then I loved it. And I kept going and going. And then I saw um, the Black Improv Alliance, Black Joy Fridays, and I'm like, oh, there are all these people that look like me. And um, I met Michelle as well at Improv MKE and went to a few jams. And it just, it goes on and on, but I really love it. And it's a great way to express myself. It's, it's amazing that your experience is virtual to start. I know, I know. And not a lot up until this point, it's been like, oh, you, it has to be where you are and you have to find a class. Now it's like, no. And you, you started with better with improv. So Keith, Keith, yeah. Start with Keith and mm -hmm. then Black Improv Alliance and then Michelle Gilliam. It's like, those are three pretty great. Yeah, they're heavy hitters. They're so good. They're all three. Mm -hmm. All three of those are adding so much right now. And it's so great that there's an opportunity to learn with them so much easier than ever. Yeah, because I can't count the number of times in my community I looked up an in-person improv class and I'm like, mm, I'm not going to go. Mm, who are those people? But it's so different in the virtual world. I was able to see them. I felt like I knew them already because I kind of stalked their pages and what they were <laughs> doing. So it made it a lot easier to, to join um, and participate. And it's so like that those those kind of three steps that got you in improv are like if everybody had that introduction to doing this improv would be so much better because they really set a safe space but also a joyful space and then are are really just kings and queens about going no do your do your thing bring you trust yourself yeah. It's going to be okay. And I think we need more of those nurturing spirits, to be honest. Absolutely. And each one of them, um, even Blue um, and Tashika, right? They'll say, hey, we're having this jam. Do you want to come? Or we're playing. Do you want to come? And just all of them collectively, like bringing me along as a new improviser. I'm like, what? Me? You, you want me to do that? Like, did you? What? Huh? 
And so a lot of times I say yes, even if I'm uncomfortable, I'm like, well, maybe the Lord gave them a word and they know, right? And I don't know. So I'll just catch up later. Um, but it's been a great experience. Well, I mean, that is the epitome of the improv philosophy, which is I'm going to say yes, even if I'm scared. And mm -hmm. then you look and not only is it the saying yes part, but the second part that's as important is people take care of you in that situation. There's a difference between like saying yes and then it's like, oh, that was a very painful thing I said yes to, I didn't know, versus I said yes and then people are like, yeah, yeah, no, we got you. And they they really mean got your back. It's not a Absolutely. thing for you to say. Yeah, it's been great. Um, are you doing uh, any like regular ongoing performances or are you doing uh, jams and classes? I'm doing jams and classes, but I um, stumbled upon the replacements. And so we are um, every other Friday night on High Wire um, Improv. It is hosted by High Wire Improv and curated by the Black Improv Alliance. And so we have a really good time on Black Joy Fridays. Do you think moving forward, when the pandemic subsides and, and you know, it becomes more possible to go into rooms and things. Do you think that you will search out doing live improv around where you are? Do you think you'll I, stay virtual or a combination? I hope to always stay virtual because I think I've connected with people. Otherwise, I would not have. But I definitely want to find my in-person people. So um, I think that'll be fun and a new thing that I'm scared to do, but we'll fully explore. And if you don't see them, there's always a chance to start it. That's the other thing is like put putting the word out there. Yeah. I feel like the universe hears a lot of the things that we put out there. And then mm -hmm. it's amazing how things pop up when we least expect it. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I wow. mean, it's, it's amazing to me that that this these dark times that the pandemic has been ha has also come with some light and some opportunities of like, wow, we, the, the closeness that people have gotten in the improv community or the mm -hmm. ecosystem combined with those gatekeepers aren't there anymore. Like there are very few actual theaters to say whether people can do it or not. So it's opened up for a lot of these opportunities that for me, it's all about everyone come play. There's yeah. no, there should be no like, you're Absolutely. good enough, you're experienced. It's like, no, no, you want to play? Come play. Let's find a spot for you and then let's do this journey together. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that has kept, kept me coming back um, each time because I've seen the collaboration amongst all of these online groups and the festivals um, and the jams and all of that. It's like, this is a really awesome community to be a part of. Uh, and it's it's great that you're bringing yourself in it as well. Like, I think people lose sight of that for improv where it's like, no, no, it's not to like kind of become the same. It's how do we fit all these notes together? How do we play yeah. these different instruments together to create a song? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it's okay to be me. It's yes. And where else can you do that? You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's very hard to be in a situation where people go, no, no, that, that person you are, that wonderful, weird, silly, brilliant person you are, we mm -hmm. need all of that to make yeah. it succeed. Yeah. Uh, if people want to follow you, connect with you, what's the best way that they can do that? Well, I am Candace Harris on Facebook. I am Candy Dreams with a Z, zero, zero on TikTok and Instagram. So hit me up. I think Keith was one of the first to take advantage of TikTok with improv. I, yeah. I, before some, him, not a lot. Some say he's the um, improv king of TikTok. He is. I remember he had <laughs> done some stuff and it was like, I, I talked to him about it. He goes, oh, there's nobody's really doing anything there. And, and you're a testament of like, there are people that will see it and there are people that will be interested in, in doing it. So yeah, put yourself out there. Yeah, I agree. Ah, uh, well, Candy, what, a, I mean, this was so fun. It was amazing. We have to do it again sometime. I was going to say we are going to, and, and if it's virtual, 
in person, mm-hmm. whatever it is. Can't wait for that to happen. Thanks for taking okay. time out of your day. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right. We'll talk soon. Bye, Candy. Bye.